Let's have a look now at finishing our custom PLC module. Now what I've got is a separate drawing for you, finishing the PLC module. So as usual, we'll add the active drawing to the project, apply the default values, yes please. That updates, and you can see that's already taken on 009 in this case, so I don't need to update the drawing properties. Let's just pan across. There's one of our existing PLC modules there. And again, schematic tab on the ribbon. And I go here, and I go to here, and PLC database file editor. So let's have a look now at the attribute tags down here. These are the bits we need to look at and update, and we're going to look at the module specifications as well. So we're going to finish off the final few bits and pieces. So there's my assembly code there, which is AB, AWA, and then there's a custom bit at the end. I'm going to remove that custom bit at the end. So it just says AB, AWA. Now the catalog number is AB1761. I'm going to delete those underscores and make them dashes instead. Just tidy that up there. So that's L16. If I go across, there's AWA there as well. And if I keep going, there's also the word custom. So let's tidy that up too. Let's add OM to the end. And you can see there, I've got custom PLC there, and I can add more and more information as I go. Custom PLC description A is actually the input output description that you use for each input output point on your particular custom PLC in this case. Now, what we'll do there is I'll change that. I'm going to change that to mains power. And you'll see where that comes in in a moment. Now, there are lots of other tags that you could go in and edit, things like Alan Bradley and tag A and tag B and so on and so forth. I'm not going to worry about those as such. I'm showing you where they are. It's up to you to go and edit these when you're creating your own PLC module in your own environment at work in the project that you're working on. So I'll go and have a look at the module specifications quickly as well. It's a module type custom one, and it's a rating 12 volts, and it's got eight addressable points. Again, I don't know the block to insert. I don't know the auto lisp file to run either. So I'm just going to OK those, save the module, done and insert. There's my AWA right there. I'll select the 2 as my graphics style there and leave the scale at 1. And you'll notice, look, 8 points, 12 volts. There's the name there. So I'll OK that. And there's my parametric PLC module. So I'll drop that in. As before, set the spacing to 1 and confirm it. Set your beginning address. I'll just select the default from the list there. And off it goes. That's done. But look. There's that mains power. You'll also notice the name. There's the name there, AB1761L16AWA Custom. So if I select that now, right click and go to Edit Component, you'll notice there's the mains power for my input out point I00, one of eight. So if I select it for the next one down, is it there? No, it only does it for the first one. And there it is there, mains power. See, description one, mains power, description two, Copy this description to IO point. If I OK that now, it adds it to the next one, and so on and so forth. So it only does it for the first one as a default, but you can add it as you go. So if I OK that now, let's put the mains power there as well for point two. You obviously wouldn't have mains going in in two places, but you get the idea. So that's your Allen Bradley custom PLC. So if I just double click and zoom extents there, you can see that it's not perfect, but you have created your own custom PLC module.